Hey everybody, tonight, this morning, whatever it is, I'm going to do a review on this knife here. This is the DPX Gear Heat. Now, I thought I had done a review on this, and I've had this for a while, but I haven't. I think I brought it out for a couple videos, but I haven't actually reviewed it. So, I'm going to go ahead and check this out with you guys tonight, and... This knife is so cool. It's just one of those things where it kind of gets lost in the back of the drawer because you're playing with your cold steel or your new frenzy just came to the door. Or there was a squirrel on a tree outside your window. But just get distracted. This thing is really cool. So let's get into this. You got two and a quarter inches of LMAX steel that's coated and then stonewashed apparently I didn't know that's how they did that but it makes sense and if you look right here this is pretty cool this is why I have hope for the cold steel formaxes that are going to be made in Italy let's see if I can get in there can we see in there no come on now peekaboo anyways what you're not seeing with the bright light cool flashlight thank you Eric what you're not seeing with the bright light is... Oh, wait, it's focusing. Is that focused? Okay. Is that it's made by Lion Steel in Italy. And I don't know if it's Lion Steel that it will be making the new Cold Steel Formaxes. See how I worked it? Where we could talk about Cold Steel, even though we're in a totally different company? Yeah, I have a problem. Anyways. So it's made by Lion Steel for the DPX company. And this is a really, really well-made knife. Just feels good in hand. Let's get to why it feels good in hand here. What you have is this PVD. I mean, this is a PVD. This is a... Uh, man, I'm having problems speaking. This is 3D diamond cut G10. Now on this side you get the titanium side. Man, I'm having problems now. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna get it together. Here we go. Sweet frame lock. This thing is really tight. No play. You tell the lockup is nice on that. Let's see what the blade looks like. Centered. Yeah, nicely centered. Open construction on this thing. Which helps because this thing is not is not super light or anything. Let's check out the weight on this, just to check. It's zero. It's made... Man, you gotta do it the right way, Goofy. Alright, here we go. Alright, so 4.09. Put the lanyard on there. It's a little bit under 4. So that's not bad, but... It's a little bit short. So, But it feels good. You got a really good grip there. You could tell. And then you got this thing up here. It's supposed to be a bottle opener, thumb stud thing. Thumb rest. But... It works really nicely as jimping. It gives you a really, really good leverage for chopping or, or bush, even like bushcraft, what do you call it, but a feather that wood. You just feel like you got a lot of leverage on this. So, and even my chunky hands fit nicely around this. Now you can reverse the clip for left hand carry. That is how I cut my thumb open when I first got this knife, I'm trying to figure out how to close this thing left-handed so be careful because when you bring your thumb up this way na, 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 na. yeah it gets you right below the thumbnail because it's very sharp now a lot of people who haven't held one of things might be one held one of these might be wondering what, what it's like what does it feel like okay now remember when you're in high school and you had that really good friend and y'all were used to hang out maybe you watch cartoons when nobody was watching and then one day he went away for summer camp, and then he came back and he was all jacked because no God knows what he was doing at summer camp, lifting and eating steroid-fed beef all summer. He grew six inches. And, well, this was your friend before he left. You know, y'all were kind of cool. You could hang out. You know, you were kind of the same guy. Kind of could do everything that he could do. Had a little bottle opener. He boom. He came back, and he was super strong, really buff, changed some things. He could still open bottles, but he was just, 
all right, he didn't want to be your friend anymore, and he stole your girlfriend, and he took your lunch money, and then he beat you up behind the church that one time because you tried to get your girlfriend back, and, oh, well, that's embarrassing. Anyways, the DPX heat here. This thing really is cool, and I know I'm rambling a little bit and being stupid, but if you find one of these, you, you're not going to be unhappy that you got one. I wouldn't pay a whole bunch because they show up on the blade form every once in a while, and they're, they're not too horrible. Definitely don't buy one that's in the 250 range where you see these brand new from the manufacturer and stuff. But if you, if you can get one a little you know cheaper than that, that you'll like it. It's perfect for EDC. There isn't hardly anything you can't do with this thing. It's just really, really nice. And if you want to feel really bad about yourself, even worse than when your friend beat you up and took your lunch money, stole your girlfriend, got a better car than you, went off and started making more money, and uh, all that good stuff, go look up the guy that came up with this DPX stuff. Man, this guy's done everything. He's, he's like Forrest Gump if Forrest Gump was... You, you know, like built and looked like Channing Tatum or something. So this guy has walked in dangerous places, walked out alive, did all kinds of crazy stuff. Whoa, speaking of crazy stuff, it's like a mini earthquake. Be careful there. But yeah, this his name is Robert. Let's see, he's not Van Pelton. What's his name? Young Pelton. Robert Young Pelton. Check him out on Wikipedia. Just done some crazy stuff. He's the one that came up with DPX. Pretty cool. Oh, nice, nice lanyard hole. Our nice lanyard hole. Okay, I know this is silly, but I was just looking through my knives. Wanted to talk to you guys. Trying to find something interesting. I didn't want to grab something goofy and. Hey, I was over at the grocery store. Found these really sweet steak knives. $7.99 for 13 of them. Let me tell you about the heft on... Yeah, I didn't want to do that. You know, I was going through my drawer and I found this old paring knife. And we use this... No, that's not even funny either. So, I found the DPX Heat. I think you'll like it. Check one out. If you find a good deal on one, definitely get one. They hold an edge nice. Really nice in hand. They're great for EDC. Nice and light. So, I guess that's all. Like here, subscribe here, and leave a comment down here. Let me know what, you, know what you think. Are you into small knives as long as they're hefty or useful? I know I am. I love small knives. I got a ton of big knives, but I love small knives too. I just I usually carry one thrown in my pocket or as my left-handed EDC. And they're just always useful, always good to have. And if you're in a crowd and you pull one of these out to open a box or open a package or something, nobody's going to freak out and draw down on you with their Texas concealed handgun license ability. Well, I'd already closed out the video and still rambling. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to you all later.